Hello. Okay, I am literally coming off the back of a sinus infection with congestion, and I'm making you a video because I'm gonna be gone for like a week, an entire week, and I know you guys are like a bunch of kids. I have to babysit, so I'm gonna leave you with content to munch on that will last you at least one week. Recently, I took a poll, and I sent it out to as many people as possible asking what you thought of certain Spider-Man suits. I got almost every single Spider-Man suit that I could think of within, granted, an hour. And I have compiled them all into several categories, which I will probably do separate videos on. I have alternate suits worn by Strictly Peter Parker and suits from the movies. I will probably cover the suits from the movies in my suit ranking tier list. The point of this video is to show the community what your favorite Spider-Man outfits are. Of course, these numbers will probably change if I had a bigger polling size, but I will be ranking them based on how many people disliked them. So the lower percentage of people that disliked them, the higher they're gonna be up on the list. These are not my opinions. I will be giving my opinions on the suit as I talk about them, but their placements are not based off of my opinions. <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> Let's get started. Today we're recording this video, I'm still feeling a little congested. I literally, I literally, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna get a little personal. The reason I'm gonna be gone for a week is because I'm seeing my girlfriend and she's gonna be at my house and I don't wanna be sitting here editing videos for my like 12,000 children while she's at my house. I could be having quality time with my girlfriend. So anyway, I have the results. I have the results right here and I'm also wearing the suit so that uh, I don't have to put up much background imagery and now that you see a moving person you can pay attention because I know like 73% of you have ADHD oh yeah I should mention that these are alternate suits worn by Peter Parker so as long as they've been known to be worn by Peter Parker in mainline I'm putting them on and if I have to explain my classification I will for each like entry coming in at number 18 we have the electro proof suit now i've personally never been a big fan of the electro proof suit let me get a picture of it up now i don't know i just always thought thought he looked kind of silly like he just kind of looks like couch man i was never really into it i never really dig it i do think he looks good in the ps4 game but i think everything looks good in the ps4 game uh, not a big fan of the logo. Uh, I think the most important part of a spider is the fact that it has to have eight legs. And uh, this logo does not have eight legs. I don't like it. Uh, it stinks and I don't like it. And uh, yeah, smelly. Smelly poo poo. Uh, fart. I don't like it. Oh, there's like snot running down my nose in the mask. Okay, coming in at number 17, we have the Threats and Menaces suit. I've already discussed in detail why I don't like this costume, although I've become slightly less of a hater of it. I still think it's pretty bad, but it's not as bad as I've thrashed it to be in the past, but only slightly, very slightly. I still don't like it very much. Uh, I definitely expect it to show up in the future, unfortunately, but I don't like it. The colors aren't cool for me. I think this suit would be a lot cooler with a recolor, and uh... Yeah, coming up at number 16, we have Secret War Spider-Man. Now, um, I know a lot of people don't really, like, say a lot about this suit. I haven't heard much about this suit. I just know it exists. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. And that's because it only shows up on, like, four or five pages in its original appearance. And it also just doesn't get much fanfare. All it does is show up in a video game as an alternate costume every now and then, and that's pretty much all its purpose has been. I mean, to be fair, it's a pretty sleek design. I never personally hated it. I think it's pretty cool for what it is, but it's not the best Spider-Man suit ever made, but it's still pretty cool. Coming in at number 15 with a 62.5% dislike, we have a uh, Cyborg Spider-Man. My girlfriend bought me this lovely Funko Pop of him, and I love it very much. Um, what I, I think... I think what I love the most about Cyborg Spider-Man is it's essentially a product of his time in terms of theming. 
and the way the Spider-Man suit looks with the much bigger eyes and the bigger blockier back logos and the more tighter web pattern. That's probably my favorite part about it is the Spider-Man suit that's beneath all the tech. It makes me sad that the PS4 game didn't attempt to replicate that and instead just took the classic suit and edited it. I think it could have been much cooler if it had a 90s Spider-Man suit as a base. I mean, at the end of the day, it's Spider-Man with a cyborg arm. I think it's pretty alright. Coming in at number 14 with a 58.5% dislike, the Bulletproof Suit. The Bulletproof Suit is another one of those costumes that Spider-Man wears for two minutes and is then relegated for an alternate suit in almost every single Spider-Man game. Uh, I remember my first introduction to this suit was in Spider-Man Edge of Time and then seeing it again in Spider-Man, or in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 video game. I was never a huge fan of this suit. I just thought that the way it was laid out was weird and it just, it wasn't Spider-Man to me. But again, Insomniac coming through in the cut. Uh, I like the suit in the Insomniac game and I actually think it looks really cool. Again, I think Insomniac makes a version of this suit that I actually prefer. Coming in with a 56% dislike at place 13, the Spider Armor Mark 1. I know a lot of people have nostalgia goggles for this suit, especially since this was the suit that appeared in the Neversoft Spider-Man game, but if I'm going to be completely honest, I never really liked this suit in most iterations. I think the only time I really enjoyed this suit was in Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions. I thought it looked really cool there, but I just think every other iteration of the suit has sort of failed to capture what I would like about it, especially in the PS4 game. I think the PS4 game just makes a version of the suit that I just don't really enjoy. I don't like the lenses being the same exact texture as the uh, just general armor. It just makes me wonder why or how he can see, and I don't know, just a question like that really bothers me and it doesn't make me want to wear it. Number 12, the Ends of the Earth suit with a 53% dislike. Again, this is another one of those suits that I didn't really like all that much when it first came out. Uh, I think my first introduction to this suit was in the, I want to say the Tazm 2 video game, and I thought it looked pretty rough there. Uh, but once again, in the PS4 game, it is looking a lot cooler. I will say though, I think the Avengers game made a version of this costume that I enjoy much more. Something about like the, the helmet having a lot bigger eyes that are a lot more domed. And I don't know, I, I guess this just looks lo a lot more like a realistic set of armor that Peter would make. Just something about it makes me think that like he picked up some of the paneling from like a sports store. I know like looking like realistic and makeable isn't really part of it, but I think the Avengers game just makes an iteration of it that I like a lot more. I'm gonna be honest, this next suit, I hold no emotional love for. I don't like it at all and I don't see what anybody else sees in it. At number 11 we have Bombastic Bagman with a 35.2% dislike. I, I don't know what to tell you, I just it's, it's just Spider-Man in a Fantastic Four uniform with a bag on his head. I think this suit has worn its welcome. I think it shows up way too much. I don't like it. Like at all. I it's I mean it's funny. I guess, but like I don't know. I don't even I think calling this a Spider-Man suit is generous. All right, next up at 10th place with a 30.7% dislike, we have the red big time suit. I don't really like the iteration. Um, I mean, you would think I like it more since red is the best color to ever exist, but I don't know, I just don't like the shade of red they picked. It's more of an orangey red when I think a pinkish red would definitely fit the feel a lot better. I just think green is a lot better of a color choice for the design of this suit. 26.6% dislike the all new, all different Spider-Man suit. I believe I first was introduced to this suit in like the seventh or eighth grade and I didn't really like it at first. This is one of the suits that made me discover one of my favorite techniques for warming up for a suit which is forcing myself to be around it and I find that forcing myself to be around a costume helps me warm up to it a little more. I like it now. I think this is one of my favorite iterations of the classic suit despite the fact that Peter literally had to become a billionaire to have it I still think it's a cool version of the redesign that 
I still think it's a cool version of the classic costume. One of my favorite things about it is its giant web wings. I think this is the few times we have seen giant web wings on a recent Peter Parker outfit. Uh, and I also like the logo. I think the logo... I think if the logo by itself was put on a basic Spider-Man suit, it would be pretty cool. But of course, its association to the all-new, all-different Spider-Man suit makes it unable to be reused. But I still think it's used here pretty well. I do like turquoise. Turquoise is one of my favorite shades of green. And I, I do like its addition to the Spider-Man costume. It's really cool. Coming in at 8th place with a 24% dislike, we have the Spider-Man Unlimited suit. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really get what everyone sees in this suit. I mean, it's definitely cool. It's a sleek design that I think does a lot of things regular Spider-Man suits don't. But, it's just not for me. I do like the black section of the mask. I do think that's cool, and that's something I even implemented in my own version of the Iron Spider mask, which I have not finished yet because I can't find a, another place to buy the red fabric so I can continue making it. Um, coming up at 7th place with a 22.9% dislike, we have the Last Stand Spider-Man outfit. This outfit is kick-ass. I love it. I love when Spider-Man outfits are made out of basic streetwear which means like hoodies, pants, all the same. I love it so much. I think a realistic take on the Spider-Man outfit, the best, I think when making a, I think the best way to go when making a realistic take on the Spider-Man outfit is making it out of streetwear. I think a lot of movies fail to realize that this is the proper way to go when making a realistic Spider-Man outfit. I love the last stand suit. Uh, I think it's really cool. Also a fun feature about this suit is that it's reversible. So if Peter needed to change back into his streetwear, all he would have to do is turn the jacket inside out and boom, it's done. I love the Last Stand suit. It's one of my favorite corners of Spider-Man's legacy. And I quite love it. And here we are with the aforementioned Big Time Green suit at sixth place with a 20.4% dislike from the fans. Um, I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of this costume. Uh, my first introduction to it, I believe, was Spider-Man Edge of Time, and I didn't even give that suit the time of day. And then I saw it again in the TASM 2 video game. Once again, I didn't really give it the time of day. But then I saw it in Spider-Man PS4. And I think, once again, Insomniac made a version of this costume that I violently enjoy. I think it looks absolutely beautiful in that game. I love the armor paneling. I love the way it looks at night. I love the shade of green they picked. And I love the eyes. I love the eyes. Usually this suit doesn't have a point at the end, but I love that Insomniac added that. If I had to pick a version of the big time suit, it would definitely be this one. I love this one. Coming in at fifth place, we are now in the top five. These are the top five voted suits by the community. And at fifth place, we have the Future Foundation suit. When I was a kid, I really loved the Future Foundation suit. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. It was so cool that I made a spider Sona when I was a kid that looked just like it. Was it stupid? Yes, it was stupid. His name was Spider Boy. Just something about this suit was really like sleek to me and I think it accomplishes everything it sets out to do. I think it looks great with the rest of the Fantastic Four, and it's one of those suits that I think perfectly embeds another design theme along with the theme of Spider-Man. I think this suit does a wonderful job in doing what it's supposed to do, and that is be a future Foundation uniform, but for Spider-Man, and that's really cool. Alright, coming in at fourth place, we have the Iron Spider from the comics with a 14.5% dislike. Uh, I mean, it's not my favorite alternate Spider-Man outfit. Uh, I do like the way color reflects off of it. This is one of the few times where I like the red on the Spider-Man suit to be a little darker, but I think that's also balanced out by the fact that it's metallic, so it has a lot of value to it. One thing that's really bothered me about this suit, though, is that it has arms that come out of the back, but for some reason, there's only three of them. He's supposed to be Spider-Man. That would be like if Dr. Octopus had, like, three extra limbs that come out of the back of his little tool set. What? Why Why does he only have three legs that come out of the back? That bothers me. It bothers me. 
But other than that, it's a cool spin on the classic Spider-Man design with a Tony Stark spin. Uh, spin, 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 spin. I love it. It's great. It's pretty cool. It's all right. I'm changing my mind on this very fit. I like it, okay? It depends on how you make it, but I like it. In third place, with a 12.2% dislike, we have the Spider-Man PS4 suit. Um, I've talked a little bit about this suit in the past, and I think my opinions have changed on it a lot. I went from thinking it was too scary looking to thinking it looked just fine, then to thinking it kind of looks a little too menacing, and now I think the orange on the suit is way too bright. There's one thing I dislike about this suit, it's the color choices. Um, I think the blues are too gray, and I think the reds are too orange and bright. If I were to change something about it, I would definitely change the colors on the costume. Other than that, I think it's a really cool redesign. One more thing though, I also wish it had boots. This suit suffers from color balancing issues, where I feel like the color completely drops off at the thigh. Uh, I think this costume would have worked with boots. I think boots wouldn't have hurt to have added to this costume, but I think they only add like a slight bit to the quality. Not enough for me to completely hate it. I like this suit a lot. I just wish the colors were a little more stark. I also love the white. Coming in at second place, we have the Ditko Classic Suit with an 8.8 .8 dislike. I had a feeling that some people would just have this one way up at the top. I had a feeling this one would chart really, really high because this is as close to the Classic Suit as it gets, but I mean, what can I say? Some people just straight up prefer this one over the original. And depending on how I feel some days, I do too. There's something about the cheesiness of this costume that ages really well. I think Spider-Man's outfit is one that has aged better than any superhero costume ever made. You see with Batman and Superman, a lot of the time they get their trunks taken away. With Wonder Woman, she's given pants and a cape. You know, with a lot of these superhero costumes, their original outfit looks nothing like the way it currently does today. But with Spider-Man, that's not the case. Spider-Man's outfit looks almost exactly like it did in the... In that's not the case with Spider-Man's outfit. It looks almost exactly like it did when it first appeared. Aside from a few modernizations like web changing, logo changing, and pattern changing, I think Spider-Man's costume has changed the least out of any superhero costume ever. And honestly, that's why it's the best superhero costume of all time. It doesn't need to be changed very much to still be fucking amazing. And in first place, a lot of you probably expected it, the black suit. With a 2.2% dislike. I mean, what can I say? If you want to watch an interesting video on the history of the black suit, there's one on YouTube. Uh, just look up, just look up the Symbiote Saga documentary. I believe that's what it's called. It's actually a really interesting read because even back then, that suit was contested to be better than the original. People were fighting with the editors and sending them mail. People were begging them to put in the black suit when the red suit was being worn by Peter, and it came to a point where fans were fighting. If Peter was wearing the black suit, people would send mail and be like, hey, make him wear the red suit. And then if he was wearing the black suit at the time, people would send in mail and be like, no, change it back. People were fighting for ye- People were fighting for years for the appearance of this black suit until they made Venom. And I think that this costume definitely is worth the riot. This costume looks spectacular. It's sleek. It can be menacing. It can be friendly looking. I love it so much and I think it has just as much versatility as the original. I love it. My favorite versions of the classic suit are ones that are shaded with purple and blue and have harsh, harsh contour shading. I love it so much. Uh, does it contest with the original? Definitely. Is it as good as the original? Definitely. And I think the black suit could have just outright replaced it. 
But of course, coming in at the number one spot, I guess pseudo number one because number one was the black suit. Of course, you have the original Spidey outfit. Let me recheck the numbers again and see. So the original Spider-Man outfit had a 0.8% dislike. So that is 17 people who do not like the classic suit, which is really funny to me because a lot of them loved the movie suits and loved the deco suit and just loved other versions of the classic suit that just were the classic suit, but with a different, like, logo or whatever. I just thought that was kind of funny. Anyway, uh, I have footage to edit. I have a girlfriend to go pick up to the airport. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, again, we recently hit over 10K. I think I talked about this in my last video, but I really want to say thank you. Of course, if you like the suit I'm wearing, you can check it out on my Instagram. Bow. Wow, I took some pictures in it recently. They were actually posted today, the day of recording, which is Saturday. This is probably going to premiere on Sunday. But yeah, I just want to say that <clears throat> thank you everyone so much for participating in the poll. It was really nice to see the turnout. I love you all so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.